What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to do something educational. So I wanted to do um, this thing, a dog. It shows different parts of a dog and other stuff. So let's get started. A dog. And guys, I'm also going to be describing the different um, body parts. Okay, so this is the skull and the jaws. So, um, okay. This top right here is the cranium. It's the brain case. And over here is the rostrum it's the snout and then right here this big hole are the orbits they're the eye sockets and right uh right there we have the nasal cavity opening And then, um, okay, sorry about the movement. Right here, we have the maxilla. It's the upper jawbone. And then last but not least, right here, we have the mandible, the lower jawbone. Now, it's the skeleton. So, right over here, we have the scapula, which is the shoulder blade. And then, um, right here, we have the skull. And then just like right here, we have the clavicle, which is the collarbone. And right here, we have the pelvis. And then we have the tail, which is about 20 individual vertebrae. And then we have the ribs, the ribs. And right here, we have the femur, which is the thigh bone. And then over here, this left one right here, is the fibula, and the right one is the tibia. And then we have the humerus, which is the upper arm bone. And then um, the left one right here is the ulna, and the right one is the radius. So that was a skeleton. Next we have the cardiopulmonary. I'm not sure if that's how I pronounce it, but yeah. Okay, so it's the heart. So, um, the right here um, is a blood from the lung. I'm not sure where that part is in the heart over here. I don't see it. Maybe I think it's this one and this one. And then, hmm, how come this heart isn't the same from there? Okay, let's just draw this one. So this comes blood from the body into the blood from the lungs. And this one right here is the left archium. And this is the left vertical. This is the right vertical. And this is the right archium. So that is the cardiopulmonary. Just tell me in the comments below if I'm pronouncing that wrong, even though I checked 
how to pronounce it. I just forgot. Okay. This is the reproductive. So, let's see over here. Hmm. You see the actual picture here is not exactly the same as this one. But I think this one, right, this little thing right here, is the same as that one. No, it's not. Okay. Anyway. So, that purple thing right there is the placenta. It nourishes the developing puppy. And this right here is the birth kennel. The fully developed puppies are born through this passageway. Right there. <laughs> Cute. And right here are the ovaries, which produces the egg cells. Right here, we have the uterus, which is the womb. And right there, we have the fallopian tubes. It carries the egg cells from the ovaries to the uterus. Let's read this one. Bur brothers and sisters. Puppies have a lot of brothers and sisters. The usual size of a litter is between three and nine. But litters can be bigger. The world record is a litter of 24 Neapolitan Mastiff puppies. Wow, that is a lot. And I just want to quickly show this right here. So this is how puppy looks when it's seven days old. Wow, that's so tiny. This is how it looks like when it's 25 days old. This is how it looks like when it's 39 days old. 50 days old. And 60 days old. Wow. Okay. Now this is the digestion. Okay. So, right here, we have the mouth. The teeth break down the food into chunks, which are lubricated by saliva for the trip down the esophagus. And then, um, okay, the large intestine, they don't have it here. So, the large intestine absorbs water from the wood, from, sorry, from the food waste. And then, right there at the tip is the anus. It sends waste out of the body. Right there is the rectum. Any remaining unusable waste ends up right there. And this thing right here is the small intestine. It enzymes break down the food for the rest of the way. Fuel, vitamins, and other nutrients are absorbed into the bloodstream. And, oh wait. This one is the esophagus. It stretches easily to allow the passive of large chunks of food. And then, I don't have it here. Okay. So that is the stomach. Strong stomach acid, enzymes, and squeezing muscles start breaking down the food into simpler chemicals. So that was it. Let's just read all this one. Wet kisses. If you've ever been kissed by your dog, you know how wet and slobbery a dog's mouth can be. The saliva in your dog's mouth doesn't just help with the digestive system. It's also essential for her senses and for keeping her cool when she pants. For the digestive system, she's, the saliva mixes with the dog's food, sticking it together and making it slippery and easy to swallow. Enzymes in the saliva also start the process of breaking down starches in the food. Saliva is also important for the dog's sense of taste. The taste buds on your, on your dog's tongue can't detect flavor molecules unless they're dissolved in liquid saliva. Now, the nervous system. So this one um, doesn't actually have a picture. It's only um, reading. Okay.
Okay. The nose. Vision is the most important sense for humans. A dog's most important sense is smell. Your dog uses 40 times more of its brain power for decoding and analyzing smells that you do, than you do. The smell detectors are a layer of spongy tissue that covers the bones inside the nasal cavity. Your dog has millions of these detectors. If you could find, if you could unfold the smell receptor tissue in your nose, it would be about as big as a postage stamp. Unfolded, the same tissue in a big dog would be almost as big as this page. Wow. Okay. And here we have the muscle system. The muscles. Okay, so far this is how the dog is going, is building up. It says that. And underneath that, all the other stuff. So, this is the muscle system. Okay. Skeletal muscles move the limbs and the other parts of the dog's body part. Oh, sorry and the other parts of the dog's body that you can see moving from the outside. Most of these are voluntary muscles. That is, the dog can choose whether or not to move them. Cardiac. Muscle, the cardiac muscle is found only in the wall of the heart. This muscle contracts by itself without signals from the nervous system. But the nervous system does send signals to speed up or slow down the heart rate. Smooth muscle is the muscle tissue in the dog's internal organs, such as the muscles that squeeze food through the digestive system. These muscles are controlled by the dog's nervous system. The dog can't choose whether or not to move them. Those muscles. And then last but not least, we have the skin and fur. So right here is the top coat, the guard hairs. And then we have the undercoat, which are the flying hairs. So most dogs have a double coat of fur, an outer layer of long, coarse guard hairs called the top coat, and an insulating inner layer of fine, woolly hair called the undercoat. Some dog breeds have a single coat, either short or long. And that is the end. So there is the full dog, guys. So you can buy this book like from Amazon or other places because it's really educational and it's really fun to read. So guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video of learning dog parts. And if you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.